With their summer break cut short, holiday makers began arriving back at Manchester Airport early this morning from the Egyptian hotel where a British couple died. As authorities revealed, no trace of a poisonous gas was detected in the room they were staying in. But those returning home were furious that dozens of people fell ill and still no one knows why. They've checked all the air conditioning. Obviously, there's sickness and diarrhoea and stomach problems in the hotel. They were talking about increasing the chlorine for the swimming pool. There's reports that the couple had a heart attack. Um, and I think the Egyptian authorities will do anything to protect their tourism. We lost four or five days. We had a choice to go to another hotel or come home. We said we come home. People don't know what to do. They don't know whether to eat. They don't know whether to drink. They don't know whether to go in the pool. They don't know what's happening. We've got no guidance. John and Susan Cooper from Burnley died within hours of each other, just days after arriving in the Red Sea resort of Hergada. They were staying with their daughter and grandchildren at the Steigenberger Hotel when they were found seriously ill in their room. After an inspection of their air conditioning unit, Egypt's top prosecutor today said in a statement that no toxic gas emissions or leaks were detected in the room and its equipment. The couple's daughter believes their deaths are suspicious, despite authorities in her garda saying an autopsy showed the couple died of heart failure. Thomas Cook said as a precautionary measure, it's now moved all 300 of its guests from the hotel, which has a 96% safety rating. Those choosing to fly home early will get a full refund, but still no answers as to why so many holidaymakers fell ill and how two of them died. Sajal Karia, ITV News.